We're going to write an application that simulates the role of a die, those uh, six-sided cubes that we use for um, board games. Uh, so to do this, we're going to write a new class called uh, roll a die, and we're going to do this all inside of the main method here. Um, but we're going to make use of an existing Java um, library. So to get there, after the, the uh, package statement, we're going to write import java.util.random right there and with a semicolon at the end so that will grab that uh, bit of code that comes with Java but is not um, always used and so it's not imported by default and then uh, we're gonna make use of one of the with of that class and one of its methods so here's our plan we're going to simulate uh, the role of a we'll call it a d6 that's a six-sided die uh, and print the uh, result to system dot out. Okay, let me just scroll back here a bit. There we are. So a couple of things. First we're going to need a random number generator. That's what the random class gives us. So let's make a new one. Random, we'll call it r. So this is a declaration of a variable and now we're going to assign it a value uh, and that value is a new random number generator. And there are lots of ways to make random number generators. This is the easy one. Uh, I know we haven't talked about objects really yet, um, but we'll come back to what exactly this means later. For now, this has given us a new random number generator and we can use it to do stuff. So we also need a result and we're going to use an int called result and uh, we're going to use a method on, the, on our random number generator called next int. And you can see there are two of them. There's one here without parameters and one with parameters. So let's go and see over here. I'm just going to finish that off for the moment and we'll come back to it. Over here I've got um, some documentation from the random class and you can see this first one, next int, public int, next int with no parameter, returns a blah blah blah. Okay, let's see. Next pseudo random uniformly distributed int value. So it's giving us an integer and it's random-ish and the trick with this one is that all possible int values are produced. 2 to the 32 possible int values. That's a lot of possibilities. Down here, this other one, next int with a, a parameter, n, gives us the same thing, except those random numbers are distributed between 0 inclusive, so between 0 and the specified value exclusive. So whatever value is left off, whatever value we pass in is, is not included in the possible outputs. So what that means then, let's say we put the number 6 in there, then our values, our results would be, um, gives us a result between 0 and 5, not 6, because 6 is excluded from the possible, possible results from next int. So let's just take a minute and add 1 to result. Now there's a few ways to do that. This is the uh, uh, maybe obvious one, result equals result plus 1. Another way to do it is to say result plus equals 1. And another way is to change, instead of using um, the assignment operator, use result plus plus. That increments result and adds 1 to it. Those are all the same thing. And then last, we're going to do system.out.println and you rolled a, put a space, and then put result in there. Okay, let's try out our program, and we'll look at the output down at the bottom of the screen here. And apparently we rolled a 6 on our first try, that's great. Well, I want to be confident that we've done this correctly, so let's, um, uh, let's put this into a loop and do this multiple times. So I'm going to declare result up here, maybe give, make it equal to zero. And then I'm going to make a loop here. My loop is going to be a for loop. Uh, and we haven't done this yet either, but I will teach you soon. We're going to do 50 here. Here's me incrementing again. Okay. And then let's just do a quick format here too. There we go. Nicely formatted now. So what I've done is uh, declared my, my result variable and I've created a loop 
it's going to run through 50 times. Each time it's going to give me a new random number and add one to it and uh, print out the result for me. So let's try it. I'll need to expand this window after so we can see all the results. But there you go, you can see a long list of results here, all between the value 1 and the value 6. No zeros, no sevens, and uh, we've got our dice rolling. Okay, thanks a lot.